Hello, I'm Dr. David Hines, President of Victoria College, and today I have some very important information for you. It's story time! Yay! We're going to be reading The Big Blue Balloon today, one of my children's favorites in these times when things seem a little strange and definitely a little slower. We need to take advantage of that and spend some time with the kids. And so sit back and relax and enjoy the book. The Big Blue Balloon by Mike Inkpen. I like that name, Inkpen. It's a good name for a writer. This book was given to my daughter, Carrie, when she was a baby, and that was about 30 years ago. We still have the book. The Big Blue Balloon. The day after my birthday party, Kipper found a soggy balloon in the garden. It was odd because the balloons at my party were red and white, so I blew it up. At first, I thought it was just an ordinary balloon, but now I'm not so sure. It's shiny and squeaky, and you can make loud noises with it. And if you give it a rub, you can stick it on the ceiling just like an ordinary balloon. But there's something odd about my balloon. It doesn't matter how much you blow it up, it just goes on getting bigger. Oh my goodness. And bigger. How about that? Until what happens to a balloon when all the air comes out. I've done that many times. You see it never bursts, never ever. I have squeezed it, squashed it, and whacked it with a stick. I've kicked it, run it over, and stretched it. And Kipper has attacked it, but it is indestructible. I think that my balloon has strange and wonderful powers. The other day, it disappeared completely. And when it came back, it was square. And this morning, while I was taking it for a walk, it took me up and up. And it took me for a fly. And finally, down. It was quite a trip, but we were back in time for supper. So if you find a soggy old balloon, whatever you do, don't throw it away. Especially if it's a blue one. You never know what it will do next. the end. Well, I don't know about you, but that brightened my day. It seems to me that during these times, it's really about the small things. Reading a children's book, doing some arts and crafts with the family, getting out on a bike ride. I want to encourage you to see the bright side, to take the time to enjoy the small things, and we'll get through this together. We'll see you again soon.